Hello everybody, Professor Dust here, giving you some tutorials on how to do some data analyses. And we're going to use JASP in order to do some of our analysis. And the goal really is to ensure that you have some of the basics of data analysis. And we're not going to dive into anything too deep. We're really going to give you the overview of what all of the different options are. And then when appropriate, if there is interest, we can dive into a specific topic in more detail. Uh, so once JASP is on your system, the first step that you need to do is get your data. All right, and so just go to open, go to your file, computer, wherever you have your information located and you can use all sorts of different types of data we're going to use SPSS data today and it's simple as that pops up into your system gives you the as the columns the names of the variables uh, so this is a filter variable that I've set up that you can use to decide which types of uh, data points you want to run analyses on, an ID number for specific cases, right? So there'll be a unique case ID number for each one of these rows. Organizational size, uh, this is employee gender, supervisor gender, gen similarity, etc. And let's dive right in and start with some descriptives. So you might want to do some analysis on how many variables do we have? What is the mean number of this specific variable based upon this data set that we have? Uh, standard deviations, min, max, etc. And it's pretty simple, really. You would simply click on whatever variable you're interested in and click it over into the variable box and it will automatically appear here into this third box. If you want, you can change your screen around a little bit by pushing these little arrows so that you're only seeing certain types of information. And then you can keep clicking and adding more and more information over here. Or you could um, do a control and select and select multiple items, right? And as you put it into this box, it will automatically start adding some columns. Okay, so it is um, possible to change all this, refresh it, remove it all uh, if you'd like, and uh, just make sure that you're keeping a record of all this. And if necessary, you can copy when you do have enough information that you'd like to save for a later date, uh, perhaps to be the final version for your report and do a paste function and there it is and this program is great in that it ensures that the APA format is already being used and so it'll create that report in, a, in an ideal format already and then you can come in here and, and change variable names and clean it up and size it up however you see fit okay so that is part one this is playing around with some of the descriptive statistics.